Welcome back, Canaanites. Today, I'm extremely excited to report that a new Halo novel has been announced, or rather was announced yesterday. The new short novel, titled New Blood, will be released on March 2nd, initially in digital format. No word as of yet concerning a physical copy. The description of the novel is as follows. While Spartans get all the glory, no soldier, not even the legendary Master Chief, wins a war on his or her own. Gunnery Sergeant Edward Buck and his team of orbital drop shock troopers played a major role in saving the Earth from all-out invasion at the end of the Covenant War. Acts of bravery and ingenuity that did not go unnoticed by the United Nations Space Command. Now, after many Spartans have been killed in battle and the Master Chief is listed as MIA, the UNSC decides to create a new generation of Spartans to defend humanity from threats both outside and within. When they come to Buck with an extraordinary proposition, he is forced to make a life-altering decision. With the Covenant War finally over, is it time for him to finally retire to the sidelines for a life he could only dream about? Or is he prepared to step up and become part of the military's new blood? Hell yes! This is the book that every ODST fan has been waiting for. We finally get a look at what Buck has been up to since the end of the war, and as many fans have speculated, his actions during the war have earned him a chance to join the Spartan 4 program. But will he? Buck is a dedicated soldier, but as we saw at the end of ODST, he finally had a chance to be with the woman he loved. Although, I think we can pretty safely guess what Buck's ultimate decision will be, given that Nathan Fillion does lend his voice to the Spartan 4s in Halo 5's multiplayer. Ready! Let's move! Regardless, the story of how he arrives at that decision could be very interesting. And even more exciting is the proposition of seeing the rest of Buck's squad and what they've been up to. While their inclusion hasn't been confirmed, it would be quite a wasted opportunity not to follow up on them. Buck cares for his squad, and I can't imagine that he wouldn't think about them when making life-altering decisions. Speaking of Buck's squad, I have to wonder if we'll hear any details as to the fate of the Huragak recovered in New Mombasa in October of 2552, quick to adjust. He is still around as far as we know, so some mention of this Huragak would be much appreciated. Along with the new announcement, 343 Industries' very own Jeff Easterling, aka Grim Brother One, sat down with the author of this new novel, Matt Forbeck, for an interview. I'm going to cut this down to the bare essentials, so if you want to read the full interview, check out the link in the description, or go to Halo Waypoint's blog under the community section. The interview reveals that Mr. Forbeck is a huge fan of ODST, calling it one of his favorite titles in the franchise, and not unlike anyone who's enjoyed the campaign, he's been eager to find out more about Bucking Company. As the interview goes on, Forbeck reveals that he has very recently played through ODST twice and watch cutscenes and gameplay from ODST to ensure that he properly captured Buck's character. The fact that Forbeck is a huge Phileon fan helps too. Throughout the interview, Forbeck reveals himself to be a die-hard Halo fan, having even had the chance to visit Bungie's old office back here in Chicago in 2000. And that more or less sums up the interview. Nevertheless, I do recommend reading the whole thing. It's very insightful and an absolutely great read. Looking further into Matt Forbeck, the guy has quite an impressive resume. Nothing I've read I'm sad to report, but a couple friends of mine are familiar with his work and give him a shining review. All in all, I'm really excited for this book, and like Broken Circle, I'm expecting a damn good read if nothing else. While we're still early in the lifespan of 343's deal with gallery books, it's turning out to be pretty damn exciting so far. To wrap things up, not long after Halo New Blood releases, Mr. Forbeck will be sitting down for another interview, and according to Grimm, it has, quote, more spoilers than a Forza Motorsports title. Apologies to Grimm for stealing your joke. Anyway, that's all for now. This has been Halo Cannon, and I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. It means more than I can express in a few minutes of audio. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it around on whatever social media you see fit, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. Your support is everything. I would not be where I am without you. Thanks.